Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now me and Phil are on holiday in Anglesey, so we thought we'd show you how we set up the caravan while we're away. Isn't that right dear? Yes dear. Come and join us. So we do get asked quite a lot, where do we put things in our caravan and how do we have it set up? One of the questions was, whereabouts do you put your TV to get the best uh, viewing angle, etc. So what we thought we'd do, we'd uh, take you through some of the things that we do in our caravan. Might not be what you do, but it's what we do it as last weekend yeah. and it suits us. So first of all, let's have a look at our little home entertainment area. So one of the first questions we were asked was, where do you put your television? And the answer is quite simple, it's here, it's on the wall. It's just by the door. It frees up the space uh, below so we can put our Bose dock for our uh, iPod, etc. to listen to music. And also, not forgetting, it's a place where we can put Juliet's coffee machine. Now, we always use um, a little whistling kettle. Always reminds me of uh, camping holidays when I was young. But also, is um, don't trip out the electric. And said so, It's if you're on no electric, you can still use it. We always use our own facilities to do the washing up. So I've got a little sink tidy that just sits over here and it fits everything neatly in and uh, out just out of the way. Now I managed to get a worktop saver, a small one. Now these being white units, they are a bit of a pain, but Barkeeper's Friends, really good for uh, getting any uh, marks off them. Now, I always put my toaster back here and everybody said about this shelf would we use it and so well I do because I put uh, our teapot on. I have got a little pot stand though and I put our loose tea and our sugar with the sugar cubes in there. Now I do have no problems with using that socket, just move some at one side and plug it in, not a problem. So in the bathroom uh, I tend to use the shower the most, Juliet likes to use the uh, facility showers but uh, when we're not using the shower we uh, store our uh, laundry basket in there and uh, this is one of those pop-up ones and they're ideal, they're only about four or five quid and they're perfect for the job. Also in the bathroom, we still use Juliet's handmade Swift rug, which is ideal for stepping out after a shower. Keeps your tootsies nice and warm. So another thing we use in the bathroom is this little plastic basket. It's ideal for putting our toothbrushes and toothpaste, etc. in. Keeps it all nice and tidy. Here in the bedroom, we also uh, don't use as much hanging space uh, as I bring a lot of t-shirts and shorts, etc. So what we decided to do was get this little hanging shelving unit from Ikea and we use it in there and it hangs nicely and it stores all my bits and bats which keeps Juliet's space free for hanging stuff. Now the vanity unit that we have in the bedroom we uh, decided that the shelf would be ideal to put a fan to keep you nice and cool in the hot months and uh, we've been using it quite a lot on this holiday and it's uh, been doing a great job. Now below we also have this cabinet. Now we've often wondered what to use this for and the best thing that we found was we use it as a drinks cabinet so we store all our booze in there. Now here's the girly bit, the twiddly bits as I like to call it. Now uh, over my head I have the little cross stitch that uh, Claire kindly made me. Now I have uh, Joffrey Burr which is actually I bought this um, when we ordered the caravan and uh, he's got the army uniform that uh, we chose for him. And we have uh, the caravan lamp which does look really nice when it's lit up at night. I always like my flowers so I've got uh, a little vase to put them in. And we have some nice little caravan coasters, you can tell it's a theme here. And on the other side I have a little uh, caravan uh, money box well actually it's the swear box and Alfie gets it at the end of the year and it gets quite full sometimes so you join me outside and uh, I'm sat in the sun canopy now we've been using this a lot more uh, lately uh, we find it a lot less faff than an awning and when there's only me and Juliet it's ideal you put it up in about five minutes tops and it protects you from the wind the rain and also the sun it's ideal now here we have the tapanyaki, we've uh, been using this quite a lot. 
we would be using our new barbecue. However, someone forgot it. Yeah, that was me. Uh, also in the awning we have these very lightweight chairs, um, we find them quite comfortable. We are looking for another set of chairs to uh, replace these, but at the moment they suit us fine and they didn't cost us a penny as well. Now Juliet still likes her carpet that she has uh, below us, this rug, and there's obviously the standard carpet that you use with uh, your setup. But other than that, apart from Juliet, I've got to mention Juliet's new solar lights that she got the idea from from Claire from A Love of Caravans, she loves them things. So they're, they're set up as well. Other than that, our setup is very simple and very basic. And all in all, it doesn't cost a great deal to do. Okay. Well, everyone, that is how we have our caravan set up. And I hope you've enjoyed having a look round uh, while we're actually on holiday. And uh, we'll continue to uh, enjoy the rest of our holiday. And uh, another vlog will follow about um, our time over here in Anglesey. Well, in the meantime, all I can say is, bye for now. Bye.